Hello everybody, just after making my last video, I found myself in the same position as your mother's on the day you were born. I looked down and realized terrible mistakes had been made. Unlike your mother's, I was able to fix things. Here's my corrected tutorial. Turn on your instrument lights. Start up your chaff and flare dispensers. Set radar to operate and leave the range at 40 nautical miles. Turn on your radar warning system. Set trim and take off. Set the master arm switch to the up position. Set the mode knob giggity to AA1 guns. Use your radar antenna to search and when you've found your target close into within 5 nautical miles. Press acquire behind throttle. The target is tracked and then locked at 1 nautical mile. Place the pipper over the nose of the target to get a gun sight tracking solution. Range data is now visible via the gun sight. You'll notice the bar thicken as you get closer on the right hand side of the sight. A circle above the sight illuminates at minimum range. The diamond to the right indicates that you're in range. You can also enter AA1 mode by pressing the dogfight aft switch or dogfight gun switch as it is more commonly known. If you're a complete twat like me and lose your target for more than 1.75 seconds, you can always press the resume scan or center switch to resume scanning. Now just enough time to say thank you very much to Vladinsky on Hoggett for clearing up my earlier misconception. Thank you very much for setting me straight, it's very much appreciated. In the words of Jim Sterling, don't forget to thank Vlad for me. Please dislike or tell me to go fuck myself below. Thank you and goodbye.